how's it going tubers jasmine 087 here and in this skyrim tutorial i'm going to show you five tips to help you start your game out on the right foot runs the mill in riverwoods just up the road I'm sure she'd help you out. Alright guys, first tip. Right after Helgen, follow the path down to the Guardian Stones. You can tell because you'll see the stones on your little compass up there at the top of your screen. You'll see that's the closest thing to you. Or you can get a butterfly real quick. <laughs> go then go down to the Guardian Stones, which are right here. These are the Guardian Stones, three of the 13 ancient standing stones that dot Skyrim's lens. So now what you want to do is you want to activate one of them. You have the Thief Stone, will allow you to learn all stealth skills 20% faster. You have the Mage Stone, will allow you to learn all magic skills 20% faster, and you have the warrior stone which will allow you to learn all the combat skills 20% faster and so when you're done with all that um, and here's a hint uh, for what I chose for this one then that brings us to the uh, second tip uh, if you go right past the guardian stones you will see that there is a little hunter's camp you can sell all your goods sell any goods that you've picked up from the from Helgen and uh, the dungeons and the caves and whatnot and sell all that after you're done selling all your stuff to regain your carry weight there's some gold over here once that gold has been picked up there is a novice chest that you can just kind of jump behind the tent and you'll be hidden and you can lock pick that chest and I got 69 gold so after you're done with that here's where you are go back up to the guardian stones and for my next tip you're gonna follow the path up to a bandit camp which is located here so now, kill the occupants. And of course, loot the corpses. So back at the bandit camp, you've got a few things. You've got a satchel, you've got some gold, you've got a treasure map on one of the victims. You've got some black mage robes, which are worth 153 gold. And you've got a skill book. Night falls on Sentinel. This gives you 50 gold and a one-handed increase on your skill set. So here's where you are and for my next tip you're going to want to go back to the Guardian Stones. After you get there we are headed to Anissa's cabin. On the way there could be anything from skeeters to bandits so be cautious and save your game. I'm just a poor old woman, dear. No need to trouble yourself with me. When you find your niece, just remember what Forrest Gump said. My mom always said, life was like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. I saw you steal that. <laughs> eh. <laughs> Looter corpse, then we have a house to raid. So in front of the house we have a little garden, it has potatoes, leeks, and cabbage. Inside we have alchemy ingredients, a soul gem, and on her dresser, by her bed, there's a skill book. That increases your alchemy skill by one point. Then there are some more ingredients, and there's a locked cellar. Warning, if you did somehow manage to steal all of the things without her realizing, the moment you touch the cellar, she'll turn on you. So, right off the bat, you'll find the apothecary satchel, more ingredients, 
and potions scattered throughout. So once you find everything, there's an interesting little note on the desk over here that gives you a little background on why all this stuff is here. Helgi, dear, why do you hesitate? You feel the power coursing in your blood. You have only to reach out and grasp it. Renounce that boy of yours and come. Come live with me in the forest. My sister will be here soon. Together, we can form a proper coven, and your training will truly begin. <coughs> yeah, or, uh, you know, uh, something like that. Fun fact, turns out that the only Helgi that's in the game is actually a little girl who is a ghost. So seeing as this doesn't make any sense at all, the only other option might be that it might be Helgrid from Windhelm, uh, but there's no evidence to support that. So here's where you are, you're at Adisa's cabin, and from here we're going to go east, and on the way we're going to find a corpse. This corpse has an interesting little note on it that may lead you to some loot or an interesting story, but we're going to skip that and we're just going to go to Riverwood. The body is here on your map, but we're going to continue to go east until we see probably what is your first Nern route. Congratulations. And then you will see the town up ahead. So for my final tip, talk to Sven here and activate the quest. Deliver Sven's letter to Camilla. You look like a traveler. Someone that has seen faraway places and heard new stories. Or if Findle is here, talk to him and start his quest. Is that sarcasm? Yes, it is. Because you should always end on Findle's side. I appreciate your help. Please, take this. Some gold I've saved up from working at the mill. This isn't just for the gold. This is because he will be indebted to you for the remainder of the game. Meaning, he will teach you his high-level archery skills and become your follower to hold all that extra loot you're going to need. I've got your back. That's it guys, if you liked this video or if it was helpful in any way, please help me help you and like, share, and subscribe. Jasmine07, signing off.